Welcome back to the Citizen Channel. Hope you're all staying safe and well. And this is, yeah, a bit of an offshoot, this one, guys. It's uh, not football, but it is football, uh, which is uh, interesting. It's an odd show, odd show special, this. Uh, you know, I do uh, have a charity bet uh, in the odd show. I don't condone gambling, please uh, remember that. And the fun stop, stop. But uh, any any monies we win go all towards a, a nominated charity at the end of the football season. But yes, a little little bit of an adage to that. Now, I've actually bought a, an ear probably for how many shares are in this. I've, I've purchased, treated myself to an ear of a, a two-year-old racehorse. So we're going to add sort of stuff for the charity into this as well. So we're going to have a bit of fun of this over the over the coming flat season up to the up to October 2022. I'll tell you about that in a moment, so stick with me. And your chance, if, you, if you're interested yourself, to, to get a share as well, uh, as there's still shares available. So please join me for this little odd show special and a, a charity bit, hopefully more for the charity by the end of uh, the racing season as well. well. Obviously, this will go a bit longer than the football season. Please, the channel's now monetized. If you could help me out by following any of the links to the advertisers or watching the ads, that'd be great, helping the channel going forward. Uh, monetization, also my other channel, film and TV channel as well. So if you can do that, that'd be great. All thumbs up, please. All thumbs up, much appreciated. Press that notification button. Tell your friends, especially say, this is just a nice little addition to the odd show, a little offshoot odd show special. So uh, please tell your friends about the Citizen Channel, which is all football, but this is football as well, because, yeah, we've got a horse and it's called We're Not Really Here. What a fantastic fantastic name for a horse this is uh, in line with the uh, blue moon race and you may have heard of those guys some of you on here may, may have been with them for a while in different syndicates this is the first time i've ever got involved myself i just thought i'd, uh, I'd treat myself so it's great you get, you get um not expensive uh any information i'll i'll put the link on at the end or the link will be there in the description etc to blue moon racing you can just go uh, and buy get, take part with me guys you know we'll have, have a bit of fun you have sort of members stuff and things like that obviously there's there'll be that many members you can't all go to the to the races because there's a limit to how many can get in the paddock and getting getting the parade ground isn't there but uh obviously uh that'll that'll happen but all, all is explained anyway on blue moon racing yeah so we've got a lovely little blue moon Moon Racing branded box of the cover of it's up there on the wall. I'll show images on the screen as we're talking through. Uh, a copy of the owner's handbook telling you a little bit about it. All the information's there on the site as well. A share certificate with a with a blank space. So if you're giving this as a gift, if you give this as a gift to another city fan, I, I, almost, I almost give it my lad. I thought, no, I'm gonna have a, I'm gonna buy it for myself. I'm gonna treat myself. So uh, there you go. My so, sorry, son. Uh, no, this is for me. Uh, obviously, if you get a couple of people to the owner's thing, uh, I'd, I'd tell you come with me, of course you could. Uh, right, okay, never mind, don't worry about that. Yeah, you can fill in a name, of course, or if it's not for yourself, you can fill in someone else's, your beloved's name or whoever might be interested. A framed photograph, which is up there on the wall. Right, not massive, but it's a lovely little photograph. A membership card uh, for the flat season, which lasts till the end of the eight. Well, not the end, the 18th of October, 2022. And at that at uh, that stage, yeah, uh, they decide what to do with the horse. We could uh, do run it in the syndicate uh, for another 12 months for a slightly reduced rate of uh, money. Uh, sell the horse or retire the horse. Obviously, it depends how, how the horse does over the season, uh, as, as you'd expect. And it's uh, Blue Moon Racing trainer John Quinn. Yeah, a very well-known name. I say, I've not been into the horse racing side of gambling for a few years now. I used to be quite big on it, so I've lost track, but I do remember the name John Quinn as a, as a jockey and as a trainer. Uh, and his son, Sean, went to Tattersalls. There we go, sales on behalf of the syndicate, uh, the Blue Moon Racing Syndicate, to uh, with instructions to buy a yearling uh, to run this season. So they managed to get hold of a yearling colt by uh, leading sprint side Camacho. Yeah, a little bit on Camacho in a minute. He was a top-class uh, black-type performer for Henry Cecil before retiring to stud in 2008. His career has been uh, pretty successful uh, and more successful than his racing career. But uh, that doesn't... That all you know, that's just how it is. He's been a side of many top class performers, gained a reputation producing speedy two year olds, which is what we're racing this. Uh, we're not really here as this year. And we're convinced, or the syndicate's convinced, uh, we're not really here can enhance the reputation as he starts running early in the 2022 flat season. Yeah, Camacho, the side of this horse, uh, had a successful stud career so far. Uh, one of his best progeny was something, a horse called Signora. 
Cabello, who was trained by uh, trained by John Quinn to win the Queen Mary Stakes at Royal Ascot in 2018. Uh, Camacho itself is described by the Racing Post as a useful three-year-old sprinter from good family, a good source of two-year-old winners. So all all bodes well for that. And his father, yeah, I, I certainly uh, this this horse is, uh, obviously goes back in many of the horses' uh, history, family family tree, if you like. The Great Dane Hill, you may have you may have heard of that horse if you haven't. Obviously, uh, a fantastic of course, a Royal Ascot winner uh, and his reputation was made as one of the greatest sires of the 20th century, of course. Produced so, so horses such as Dylan Thomas, Rock of Gibraltar, George Washington, Holy Roller Emperor and the Derby winner, North Light. So, yeah, good, uh, a, good, a good little family tree there. Uh, the dam, yeah, the dam is uh, Broodmare Rocking the Boat, who herself was a two-year-old winner for trainer Charlie Hills. She's had three previous falls. All three have been winners, winning a total of eight races between them. So, fingers crossed, guys, it'll carry on. Yeah, the trainer, just a little bit about the trainer, John Quinn from Mal the Malta. And stable. He was born in Tipperary, County Tipperary, joined Edward O'Grady's yard after finishing school to become a conditional jockey. After several years, he headed to England, of course, in search of fame and glory. He landed in Malton where he joined Jimmy Fitzgerald's thriving operation in the 80s for branching out to ride as a freelance jockey. Uh, after riding the best part of 200 winners, uh, no means, no, that's not bad itself, is it? He retired in 1990, ran a livery yard uh, from his base. He took up the plunge into training ranks several years later. Yes, it's a, it's a hard job, that's for sure. He's worked his way up now and there's around 75 horses split between. He's got two yards, the Bellwood Cottage Yard and Highfield. And he's enjoyed major success over the last 20 years in both flat and national hunt. Obviously, we're interested in the flat season for this one. He's in fact one of the select group of trainers to train both Royal Ascot uh, winners on the flat and Cheltenham Festival winners over the jumps. Uh, a pretty outstanding achievement. And the horse itself, yeah, the horse itself running Blue Moon Racing name and of course uh, distinctive, as you'd expect, uh, yeah, sky blue colours. So there you go. So that's a little bit about it, guys. I'm quite excited for this going forward. Uh, if you're interested, please get in touch with Blue, Blue Moon Racing com. I'll stick the thing on screen. It'll be in the links as well. So or any other information, give me, just DM me. I'll sort you out. And, of course, uh, I hope you'll stay with me this season and watch this. I'll keep you informed, updated on what it's doing, how it's doing. I might give you the nod, obviously, when the owners and uh, people have had a chance, whether it's favoured in a certain race, etc. So I'll give you all that information as we're going through. As I say, uh, obviously, the information's uh, given to owners. But what we're going to do, what we're going to do on the betting front is... Uh, Obviously, uh, I've paid out for this this uh, for this horse. So any profits we make at the end of the day, whether the horse is sold or is successful, I mean, there's, you know, get a very small percentage of winnings, guys. It's a big syndicate. But uh, any monies that, that we do get back, I'll, I'm going to give as with the odds show, which everything goes to charity. I'll give fifty. I'll give, I'm going to give fifty percent. I need I need to cover some expenses, guys. I'm going to give fifty percent to the nominated charity, and obviously, as the season goes along. If there's any any hints or any hints and any little little bets are late at the bookies to try and get money off them, again I'll uh, 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 sort of give uh, fifty percent of anything anything I make on that. I'll cover all the losses myself as usual. Any losses I'll cover and any any profits we do make over and above, uh, I will actually give fifty percent to the nominated charity as well, which will be the same charity which you'll find out about at the end of the football season. I've uh, more or less decided that now, but obviously it can change. But I think I know which nominated charity. But I will do that as well. Give to fifty percent of anything to do with we're not really here uh, to, along to that charity as I say. It's, uh, Hope that's okay. Hope that's okay with you. And please enjoy enjoy the um, yeah enjoy a very interesting twenty twenty two flat racing season. It's got a bit of an interest now. As I said, I've not been following horse racing that much recently after many many years of doing it and making quite a bit of money off it and stuff like that. So it's nice to get involved again, even if it as as if you like a part owner. I perhaps I perhaps got the tip of his ear or something like that. I'm not too sure. I certainly don't own a left leg. I haven't got that big a slice of him, but. Uh, Let's see how we're not really here, goals. And uh, good luck to him and good luck to us. And let's let's get some money for that charity with it. And I will keep you informed, guys. I said, if you want any inform information, just get on to me. Anyway, thanks for joining me today. What are we going to do this today? Have a great one. Look after yourselves. Look after your friends. Look after your families. More important, let's all look after each other. To me here again on the Citizen Channel. I only ask one thing, don't I? Please stay safe, blues. Come on, city. Come on, we're not really here. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.